Hi, everyone. So as you know, the world is changing and cryptocurrency sphere and industry changes the world uh, very much uh, recent years. So and this process in the next decade will be uh, in intensified by lots of services when cryptocurrency services will go into our life uh, closer and closer. Currently, we are using the services mostly belonging to big corporations, but cryptocurrencies and blockchain uh, technologies in particular will bring this uh, process into the decentralized world. And now I'm going to show you another interesting service as an example. So we all using YouTube as the major video platform. Of course, there are some other ones, but YouTube is dominating. So it's belonging to the biggest corporation, which collecting, uh, which is collecting the data from all of us, uh, all the statistics and selling it into the uh, ad market, advertisement market. Uh, so this is only the example of an, an alternative I want to share with you now uh, very briefly so that you can understand the idea, the world and services can be changing in future. This is DTube. So DTube is the video platform that um, is uh, built on analogy with YouTube, but with tokenomics. So uh, you are watching the video and content providers are producing the video content. And this is based not around corporations, but tokenomics. So uh, if you go if you go to the uh, uh, to this page, you can see the video files. So the design is uh, re resembling and, and uh, coping YouTube to some extent. So you can go to every video uh, here, and uh, what uh, what you can see here is very uh, is very interesting. So the videos are uploading, and of course you can watch them. Uh, and or, or, and the specifics of it that people are getting uh, the content producing are getting DTCs. So this is the talk uh, the tokens. And uh, the, those people who watch, uh, of course, can grant not only likes and comments like, uh, like, uh, uh, like in YouTube, but they are granting the attention. So the digital economics is mostly the economics of attention. So everyone is fighting for uh, attention, for people attention, and uh, uh, they are fighting for that. So they are getting DTC. So this video is getting uh, 23.5. And if we go to coin market cap, we uh, we can see what coin uh, it is. It's data coin. Uh, so the cost uh, is very low, but uh, we are interested in the very idea of how uh, YouTube analogs, uh, crypt blockchain analogs crypt based on uh, tokenomics and cryptocurrency can work. Uh, I'm not advertising and promoting this very particular service, but uh, what I'm telling you now that there are, uh, the example of how services can move to decentralized platform. So uh, Datacoin uh, is is costing nothing at, uh, at all, uh, to be honest, but uh, it, it can be a good example. It started in 2014, quite long ago, quite a wh while ago, and uh, the cost was initially $1. Maybe this service or any other service can, uh, uh, can catch up and get popularity from uh, and get mass adoption in future and maybe a very interesting interesting point so uh, uh, this is quite uh, quite an old token based of uh, proof of work so you can read about it more about its statistics turnover uh, uh, the markets are, uh, are scarce so that's only one uh, one exchange that's that is selling it but you see the idea so currently it is it was based um, uh, on steam platform so uh, but uh, later on we can have another an analogs that can shoot off in future so this is a very interesting uh, interesting idea uh, so to sum it up 
uh, what I would like to tell you that all the advertisements that you can watch here, can, you can earn your cryptocurrency, your tokens. Uh, of course, the price is variable, but the idea of having decentralized service based on tokenomics, not on, on companies, policies, and uh, what's interesting here that we uh, that in YouTube uh, there's some uh, some point of uh, decent some aspects of decentralized tokenizations. So uh, people uh, people who own the currencies can vote for the decisions. So these uh, these are you know, these are the services that can uh, that allow us to vote. So uh, people voting for uh, for uh, for the platforms, for the content producers, and there is a direct connection between uh, content producers and audience and people who consume that um, uh, that uh, product, that digital product and video product in, in particular, like like we see here. So, and the relations are direct, more fair, uh, based on fair principles rather than uh, rather than on companies policies so uh, what uh, I don't want to go to technical details too much uh, because it will it will not bring too much value but you can see here that uh, all those um, all those trends all those products and prototypes already exist like I told you before that uh, decentralized exchanges uh, were it advanced the same year 2014 and then they were developed developed after that uh, step by step and only shoot off uh, last year to 2020 so uh, it takes some time so when technology is being uh, is being popularized and improved and then we can see another world and the blockchain world is changing the real world and our services in particular. That's the main idea I want to tell you now. Hope you are interested and encouraged to learn and to know more about different interesting services based on decentralization and blockchain. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.